having been trained in ballet dance as a teenager to professional standard, and having been experienced in um, being dancing for um, an audience, it took a lot of persuading to realize that dance wasn't just commercial. Scripture teaches us that dance is scriptural. The Lord loves us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Hebrew worship was so much different to the worship that we know nowadays. The Lord loves expression and he loves color. He loves vibrancy. He loves enthusiasm. But there are a few more things that it's best to avoid doing, to, to avoid upsetting people in church. First of all, please respect people's personal space. There's nothing more intimidating than somebody sitting in the pew next to you all of a sudden waving their arms around or picking a flag up and waving it wildly. We have to take into account health and safety, but we also have to take into account people's tastes in worship. We should do nothing that would distract anybody. And if you've never danced in church before, please be sensitive. It's best to dance privately at home, in your lounge or wherever it is that you worship. Get used to expressing yourself. But do it just for the Lord, not for an audience or for anything else. You'll soon learn your own technique you'll soon learn what releases the Lord's presence into your own life. And you'll soon learn how to please him. Nothing gives me greater joy than just to dance and be free. But the Lord desires excellence and he requires excellence as well. It's not enough just to um, come into church and wave a flag. It's fine for fun, but the Lord desires more of us. He wants us to enjoy him. He wants us to enjoy intimacy with him. And he wants us to bless him in our expression. Some people may be graceful, others may prefer um, Jewish dance or other forms of dance. But please, use this as a resource. Don't use it as you must do this or you must do that. Or Irene says, so it must be right. We're taught to test everything. God bless you as you learn to express your worship. 